Welcome guys to Mitch Rising TV. We're doing something a bit different today. We've got a MMA circuit. This is an uncut version, okay? This is not like my normal videos. I'm doing it uncut so you can see I'm demonstrating that I'm actually having no rest in between sets. If we cut it, you don't know how much I'm resting. So this gives it a bit more real for you guys. So uh, it's going to be a little bit shaky and a bit moving around, but I hope you can enjoy it and relate to what I'm actually doing. And we're going to do seven rounds, okay? So I'm going to show you the round one. I'm not going to go through the whole seven rounds because it'll be too long-winded. So basically, guys, we're going to start off with a TRX knee tuck, okay? So we're going to get our feet into the slings. We're going to get into a press-up position. Now, this really fires the core up, this one. So we go into a press-up, knee tuck, okay? So we're just going to perform these nice controlled movements. And the aim is to try and think of your belly button being pulled into the spine, Okay, this is working your core muscles, which are very, very important for a lot of fighters. Okay, so we're taking our knees slightly to the side. As you can see, my back's lovely and straight. I'm in a nice, strong position into these press-ups all the way down. I hook my feet out, move straight onto what we call the steel bells. Now, these steel bells are excellent, okay? They're working for grip strength. As you can see, I'm just using my grip power to throw them up. They're 25-pound steel bells. These can go up to 50 pounds. And basically, I'm chucking them as high as I can and trying to get a real aggressive pullback. As you can see, I'm trying to flip like a, like a coin. I'm trying to flip it, throwing it up in the air. So this works my rotor cuff. So we're trying to chuck it as high as we can. That is your aim to get the power. And this really helps for punching power. Okay, so we're going to go straight into carrying on. Just get a couple more out, making sure I don't hit myself with it, of course. Now we're going to go into what we call the Bulgarian bag. Now this is a 20 kilo bag, okay, so it's not a little featherweight pillow, it's a 20 kilo bag, okay, so I'm just going to get myself straight in, and this is same again, working all my intercostals, my transverse, my core, really, really firing it up, and I'm getting a nice little movement, so my, what we call the kinetic chain, I'm just trying to get us a nice controlled movement, and really trying to aggressively throw it around, so making sure my core muscles are being fired up. And then I'm going to go straight into wide chins, controlled, nice and wide. As you can see, I'm not locking out. I'm not aggressively dropping myself down and stressing my shoulder joints. I'm keeping it nice, controlled and smooth. Then I drop in and I reverse and I go straight into a close grip. These are just hitting different muscle groups. Okay, so straight in this really emphasizes the biceps. So we're keeping the reps fairly low. Now we're going to go into a kettlebell. Okay, we're going to do single arm, and we're going to be switching it over. So we're going to go into our kettlebell, swing it over, and catch so the other hand grabs it, and continuous movement. And as you can see with the kettlebells, I'm just firing up. You can see I'm really pushing through my glutes, my bum muscles. So just really firing up, driving through, and firing my glutes up. And so it's a very controlled movement, and I'm just turning the kettlebell as I go to catch it, just to make sure safety's there as well. So I'm not going to be throwing any kettlebells around the gym today. So just going straight in, controlled. And then we're going to go straight into a clean and press. This is a single, single kettlebell clean and press. This kettlebell is 24 kilos. On the swings, I was doing a 20 kilo. I can work a bit heavier than these, but obviously we're doing seven rounds today. So you can imagine when I get to the end, 24 kilos on a clean and press, which we're doing now, is going to feel very heavy. I've got one arm out to the side, so I'm firing my core up again. And it keeps my balance as well. And if you try it with your hands just out to as straight as you can, you'll find that it really, really does work a lot better than putting your hands on your hip because then you've got a little bit more stability. So this just throws you off a little bit. And you can see I'm keeping the kettlebell, twisting, driving up. It's not smacking against my forearm on the way up. Now we're going to go straight into the other side. That's it. Just getting it straight up, squeezing. And as you can see from that movement, it was really controlled. I'd have a little bit of a break there. Straight into the ropes. This is up and down. Now, this is what the old uh, judo guys use for uh, strength power. And they're just holding on to that. And it really, really does work. The old biceps, this one. So I'm just trying to get it in a nice movement. And I say, you'll see in a minute, I'll go into circles in a minute. Just so I'm really firing the shoulders up. So that's a double one now. And so we normally hit round about 30 seconds, 20, 30 seconds on this. But remember, it is continuous. Okay, so keep whipping them through. And that's the circuit. Get me watering. Remember, that is round one. 
We've got seven rounds to go. You've got to try this, guys. Okay, guys, thank you very much for tuning in once again. Hope you enjoyed the MMA circuit. We will be doing more later on as we go through the months. Uh, so this is one for you guys just to, to whack on. And if you guys can um, share, like, and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. And you can get all the updates of my new release videos. And also you can contact me on Twitter, Mitch Goslin, and also follow me on Facebook. Thanks, guys, for tuning in.